Hey guys, welcome to my channel if you're new here and what's up to my returning subscribers. So for today's video, as you can already tell by the title, we are doing a Shein summer haul, which I am excited about because I have not done a summer haul in so long. I did get a quite bit of, a little bit of everything from shoes to bags to clothing, hair accessories, um, a little other stuff. But if you guys wanna see what I got, continue watching this video. And if you're not already a subscriber, don't be shy, hit that subscribe button. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is some hair accessories I got. So the first thing I got are these hair clips. I got five of these and they're all like neutral colors. These are the colors that came in the bag. Um, they're all neutral, like I said, really good. So I got five of these. I don't remember how much I paid. I think I paid like two or $3 for these, but I'll put like the price of everything somewhere, you know, above. But this is the like hair accessories I got. And I'm not doing this in any kind of order. I'm just taking what's on top out, like the accessories and stuff, and then make it into the clothes. I also got me some clips, like butterfly clips. Take me back to my inner childhood. I got these in Claire before last year as well, but I went in the white pair. So I got these for me. I got another pair of clips and these one are actually bigger, which I like and prefer. So I got these three neutral colors. You can never go wrong with black or like cream. I got a single one, which I thought was gonna be bigger from the picture, which also you guys make sure when you go on Shein that you are looking at like reviews and stuff, just so you can get an idea of the size of something because um, sometimes the pictures are a little deceiving and they look bigger than what they really are. I was expecting this clip to be bigger than what it is, but I mean, it'll still work for what I needed to do. Um, it's just like a butterfly clip. This is the clip, whatever. I got one more hair accessory and it is this other butterfly clip. If you don't already see, I have a thing for butterflies. I love butterflies. But I got this butterfly clip right here and I actually like the size of this one because it is bigger than this one. As you can see, like a side by side comparison. Um, but it's like a clear kind of a color. I got this to do like half up, half down hairstyles. So. This is this clip. I think I paid like a dollar or two for that one. Now on to beauty. So I got a few perfume bottles. Um, lately, I've been going crazy with buying fragrance. Um, it's something new that I've been doing and I've been like investing in. So I kind of got excited and I already opened these up because I just wanted to see how they look. And they are perfume bottles. So the first one, let me show you guys, is this black matte one right here. Um, it's really cute. I love the detailing on this bottle. It's really nice. Um, only thing I had a problem with is that when I got it, this was like more of the white was showing. It was hard, you know. I just wanted to make sure the sprayer was able to spray. But I like this perfume, so I got this one in black. I also got me a pink one, which I've already put some of my body spray in. This bottle is really cute. And these are, these two are 50 ml, which I think is like a 1.7 bottle. So this is what these two are. Really cute. And it actually sprays out really good too. I like the spritzer on this, so happy with this purchase. This next one I thought would be bigger, but it's actually smaller than what the picture kind of showed. Um, it's still cute. I'll just keep it for like travel, but it's this little small one right here. I thought it would be bigger, but you know, I'll deal with it. So I got this one right here. Then lastly for perfume or beauty, I got these two little small, um, I don't know what they're called, like the little the spray ones, like the travel ones you can get. So I got these because I do have many perfumes that um, are splash perfumes that I don't really like. So I got these to put them inside of. So this one I believe is a 15 ml and um i like this one i got the gold detailing and then i got a smaller one this one is a 5 ml so i got this black one right here with the silver detailing and this is it right here so these are definitely come in handy this summer for me for just throwing a certain perfume if i'm going to touch up or whatever in my bag so i got these two right here sorry i was having a hair malfunction my hair was coming down I'm gonna show you guys the cutest thing I found ever. So I did get some of my car accessories. I told you guys I got a little bit of everything this time around. So I found these little like, um, they're not, per well, they're, they look like perfume bottles, but they are these little, let me open it first and then I'll show you guys. Okay, so I found these cute like little um, 
they're like it's it looks like a perfume bottle but it's actually what is it called like air freshener for the car so you put this part like in like the air vent in the car and you put like whatever kind of oil you want you can open this up and you put the oil you want and whatever and uh you just you know have it in your car but this is really cute because i have like a little perfume uh obsession right now so i actually got so i got two of these for the car super cute two like mount holders for the car as well because i had a pink when i was like this that i don't know what happened to it and then i seen this one so i just got some car mounts for the car i got two ear pod like covers this one is like a um clear looking one as you can see and this one is is this not i don't remember this one is like this i got me like a little wallet for like my smaller purses just put my cards in I really carry cash with me so this is perfect for that i also got this little um this is like for one of my purses just like this little coin holder i guess pouchy and then but I also thought I could put my AirPods in here, but it is a coin pouch, but I thought I could put my AirPods in here. And just like this little thing I could put on my keychain, which is cute, on my purse, so I got this. I travel a lot, so I thought these were really cute. I got two of these, um, it says, excuse me, not your bag, like tags, so this is really cute. This is what it looks like, super cute. So it says, excuse me, not your bag. I got two of them. Again, another deceiving item, but I'm still gonna use it. I got this like keychain or whatever. I had actually got this to put on my purse. It is really, really small. Like I didn't know it would be this small. So this is it. It's really, really small. Like I said, like in the picture, it did not look this small. I'm still gonna use it. I had specifically got it for one of my purses um just to have like some like jewelry like you know whatever but it's really small but it's still cute and i'm gonna use it so i got this for one of my bags i got me a phone stand and a heart like kind of thingy so like i said they have a lot of stuff in home furniture whatever decor whatever and i needed a new like phone stand because my other one for amazon broke so i got this one and it was really affordable i believe i paid six dollars for this one this is what i got right here I don't really know what this is, so we have to open it because I ordered a lot of stuff. So let's just see. Oh, okay. So I had ordered like a purse, like mirror. So this is what I ordered. It's a two-sided mirror. So this is what I ordered. This is what this is. So now that we're done with accessories, let's get to the real reason why you're here, the clothing. Okay guys, so these are the clothes, so let's get right into. First thing, it's not really important, but I did order me two packs of like knee-high socks. I just wanted these, and these, this is not really a summer kind of item, but I just like to sleep with like high socks and like a t-shirt. So I got a two pack in white and black. So these are these and I believe they were like $3. They're super long and they actually feel really nice the material and they don't feel cheap and they are stretchy. So I like that. Next we have So I got this skirt, this maxi skirt, which I am in love with. And it's like in this funky print. I don't want to call it really a zebra print because I don't really know like if it's considered a zebra print. I feel like it's just like kind of just abstract if that's the word I can use. So I got this in a size. What size did I get this in? I believe this is in a size small, but it does have a lot of stretch to it, which I like because my hips are kind of wide. So I like this. Um, it does have a slip inside, which is actually good. So it does have a slip inside of it. So you don't have to worry about anything being shown through because it is a little mesh and it has a little like sheerness to it. But this is really cute. I like this. Next we have this. Let's see. Oh my god, okay, so I know everyone's been talking about skims. I got the like popular skim dupe whatever dress that everyone's always talking about. I got it in this brown color. 
I kind of thought this would be a little darker, but I'm not complaining. The material is really nice. I like how this dress feels. Um, I got it in brown. I kind of want it to kind of match like my skin, like a little flesh tone, nude kind of thing going on. I did get this in a size small, um, so it's a four, but it does have a lot of stretch to it, which I'm kind of glad because I kind of wanted it to hug my body. Um, I didn't want it to lose. Started getting a little noisy outside of my window, so I just decided to do a voiceover for the rest of this clothing haul. So I also got the brown Skims dupe dress in the color black, which I'm so glad I got. I actually like this better than the first dress, but I mean, it's still giving. It's a size four as well and a size small. And again, it does stretch. So if you are someone that usually gets mediums, you could get away with the small as well. This next item I'm show you guys is this really pretty floral daisy crop top. Um, it is like a tie around kind of a top. I wasn't sure how I was gonna tie this around me, but I actually made it work. I kind of just kind of tied it around and like tucked it like in between like with my bra. And I really like this. I love the shoulders on this as well. It's really, really cute. Um, I got this in a size medium as well and it actually fit pretty perfect. This next top I was kind of disappointed in because I had high hopes and was actually excited for this shirt. So this is like a white sheer button up um, like long sleeve but it's really lightweight shirt. I got it in a size small but it actually fit like a size medium or maybe even like a large. I just didn't like how it fit and then like just like the upper like front of it I just didn't like how the shirt was made. It didn't feel like really good material but you know I'm gonna make it work anyway but this is that shirt. This next item I'm showing you guys is another item. I don't know, like, I, I go by a lot of the reviews and stuff, so I got this in the medium because a lot of women were saying if you have big breasts, like, to go a size up so it would fit, but actually this was a little bit, it didn't fit like I wanted it to, but I'm glad I got the medium. But this is a dress, it's like this floral pretty dress. Um, when I seen it, I was thinking about picnic vibes this summer because I really want to go do a picnic this summer somewhere like in the city or something. This next item I'll show you guys, it's not really a summertime item, but I do plan on wearing it this summer because it's not that heavy and I was wearing it on its own. So it's this khaki sweater vest. Um, it's supposed to be cropped, but I feel like it feels like a size small. I got this in the medium. Go back for the black. I'm definitely going to size up and get me a large because it didn't really fit the way I wanted to. This next item, I have something floral again. I don't know if you guys can see a pattern. Like, I love butterflies. I like sunflowers and just flowers. So I got this floral dress. Um, I actually got scared when I opened this up as well just because it looked really big. I got this in a size medium and because of the reviews about this dress. And like I mentioned with another dress I had showed you guys, I do have a bigger chest, like a chest. My chest is big. So I wanted to make sure that the dress fit. And it actually did fit good. And you also have these strings on here where you can adjust it. And with the strings, it's actually connected to the back. So it makes it tighter and um you could wear a bra with this but i don't think it would look as cute and just good if you did but i did try this on without a bra and i didn't think it looked too bad and it actually does fit good and i like the length of it as well this next item i did pick up one pair of pants and they are these um i don't know i call them like boho kind of fit pants like i don't know it's giving earthy girl kind of vibes, but I had one pair of pants like these. Got them in a size medium. They actually fit pretty perfect. Not too tight, not too, you know, big. I also like that these pants are not too thick, but they're not too like thin either. And these also do have pockets for my girls who likes to, you know, wear your pants with the pockets. So this next item I'm gonna be showing you guys is this white crop top. It's like a white wrap crop top it's kind of similar to the um the floral crop top i showed you guys i really did not know how to tie this shirt it was very hard and once i did tie it and the way i tied it i didn't like how it look it isn't a size medium i could have probably gotten away with a small it just i don't know it doesn't fit correctly but i'm gonna keep it but i just i don't know but um I was actually disappointed in the shirt, honestly. I just really wanted it to fit differently on me. 
I've seen this skirt, which I really like. I was scared when I opened it though because like the band of it is so big. And I did see that they said it was stretchy, but I did get a medium just to be like on the safe side because my hips are kind of wide. But this was a little bit too big, but I'm going to just sew it up anyway, and I'm sitting, so it's not going to be a big issue. But otherwise, of it being, like, a little too wide and stretchy around the waist, I really like this skirt. It's so cute, and I know I am keep saying this word, but it's giving, like, earthy girl kind of, like, boho vibes. Like, I don't know, I've just been tapping into, like, different aesthetics, and I really like this. And also, as you can see, it has butterflies. Alright you guys, so that's pretty much the clothing proportion of this video. Now I'm just going to show you um, some shoes and bags I got really quickly. I feel like the shoes are definitely why my cart or my um, total came up to much, as much as it came up to because I bought three pairs of shoes. So the first pair of shoes I got because I don't own any beige, like, is this called sort of khaki? Like beige kind of shoes. So I got these beige sandals right here. I'm gonna just take them out of the bag. So I got these sandals right here, super duper duper cute. I love these. I don't own any beige, like tannish kind of shoes. And these just gave me like vacation beach vibes. So I got these, this part of the shoes, like a French part is really nice. And like, not super stretchy, but it's like stretchy a little bit. And then like the bottom, like the bottom and this part of the shoe is like this foam kind of material. I really can't explain it, but it just feels like the shoes, you, the sandals you get from Old Navy is what that feels like. And this has like this like band around it, which feels like kind of weird. It's like definitely like not the same material as a pair, but um, I need sandals that have straps so that just because, you know, just for my feet don't come out of them. And I got these shoes in a seven, seven, seven and a half, which is a 38. So that's what size these shoes are. The next pair of shoes I got are black because I needed a new pair of black sandals. And they came in this bag like this. They're like a full leather black kind of a sandal. So I got these like basic kind of sandal right here, like a faux leather. Um, with the strap, of course. I like how this feel. They're they're heavy, but they're not like heavy. Like they're gonna wear your feet down, but it's like it doesn't feel cheap at all. And I think these were like sixteen dollars. But with like the with my discount, I think I paid like thirteen or fourteen. But the material of this is really really nice. I love it. I love how this feels like really nice and comfortable. Um, it's like a. This is definitely. It definitely, this shoe definitely feels softer than the uh, the first pair of sandals I showed you guys. And I like how it feels. As you can see, like, it just, it just looks like it's going to last and it's durable. I also got these in a 38 as well. Super, super cute. So I cannot wait to wear these. And I feel like that um, I didn't have, like, a regular black basic pair of sandals. So these are basically going to be my go-to sandals that I definitely need to get some wear out of that I'm going to have for a while. The last pair of shoes that I got is with the brand that's with she and that I've wanted to be trying for a while. And I think it's pronounced Cuckoo or Cuckoo, Kuhu. I don't know how you pronounce it. But I got a pair of shoes from them because I do have wide feet. And me being wheelchair bound, my feet do get swollen a lot. So I figured let me try out a pair of their shoes to see if I like it and I might want to buy more. So this is what the shoes come inside in this bag. And this is the brand of like, I don't know if it's a collab, but this is like the brand with Shein. Cuckoo or Cuckoo, Cuckoo, I don't know. These are the shoes that came in this bag. And these are the shoes that, and they come in like their own separate dusters, I guess. And I believe it's pronounced like Esperelders. I don't know, but I got these shoes I got. So these are the shoes. I really, really like these shoes. These are the shoes that I got, pretty cute and whatnot. And yeah, so. I also got these shoes in a size 38. Okay, so I have two more items to show you guys and they are bags. So the first bag I'm gonna show you guys is this beige like store. Yeah, store bag, store bag, I guess you can say. I see that like, this is like trending a lot and this has been around. This is one of those bags that won't go out of style. And they do have like a tan one and then this is like the khaki, 
well yeah khaki or tan and it's like the beige one so i decided to get this one instead of like the brown one that everyone gets it's because i already have a brown bag so let's just open this one this bag is actually bigger than what i thought it was going to be but it's actually the perfect size so this is what the bag looks like and i also got this bag because i feel i believe that you should always have at least one pair of shoe and bag that matches and i thought these would go good together which actually to me they do pair they're a little off but i can still feel like i could get away with wearing this together um just because like this kind of matches um so i got these two specifically to go together regardless i'm still gonna get some wear out of it because this does actually match these shoes so these match a little better and from like afar you really can't tell the difference but I like this bag. This is what the bag looks like. And it also comes with this handle. And I like my bags. Ooh. And I love my bags that come with like handles, straps. So I can like put it across me while I'm like, you know, rolling or whatever with my chair. This bag, super cute. I can't wait to wear this. This is definitely a beach bag. I'm not sure if I might go back and get the other one, like the darker brown one, but I definitely do like this one because it just screams summertime to me, screams summer vibes. And again, it always works out when you have a pair of shoes that actually matches the bag. This last bag, you guys, I did not know was going to be this big, um, but it's okay. I got like this bag specifically because I have some shoes that I don't have to match so i was hoping that this match but from the looks of it i feel like it's a little too light but you know i got this to specifically go with these shoes which is really off i'm not really sure how this is gonna go and like i said this bag is really big i didn't really expect this bag to be as big as it is so I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it or return it that I've never returned anything to Shein before. So what I might do per usual is just resell this on my Poshmark for a couple dollars off. Um, if you're not familiar with my channel, I usually um, sell, resell things new and used. So the link for my Poshmark will be in the description box below if you're interested to see because I also have a lot of summer sandals and bags and shoes that I'm also getting rid of. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you if you made it to the end of watching. I hope it wasn't too long. And again, thank you to all my returning subscribers and to my new subscribers. And if you're here now and you just came across this video, do me a favor, like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. But again, thank you if you made it this far into this video. Until next time, see you guys later.